I'm just going to say this right now, guys. This, oh, guys and girls, I should say. Because, yeah, I have to include everyone, you know. Uh, this week's been going by relatively quickly. I mean, we're already on Wednesday. Happy home day, everybody. Um, so, you know, honestly, I shouldn't really be making this video because I literally just did a Mom Food Chronicles yesterday. And considering that, like, again, I just did one yesterday, it'd be silly to have it again. But with everything going on and the fact that a certain place that I don't really like was giving away free of a certain item yesterday and I will admit yesterday does play to uh my well can play to my love of alliteration you know what forget it I'm just gonna do it here's another Mount Food Chronicles folks another no, Mount Food Chronicles for you there we go um so yeah the fact that I mentioned alliteration should already give you a clue as to what it is Last night, my family had, my family and I had tacos for dinner. Now, here's the thing. I want to make this very perfectly clear. When I say mom food, and I've said this before, mom food is the food that, like, you grew up eating. Now, some of it obviously was homemade. Others of it might have been, like, like semi-homemade. Like that one show by Sandra Lee on the Food Network. Remember that show? Anyway, um, like, maybe use, like, box stuff or whatever. Sometimes your parents just, like, use the box and sort of dock it up in some way. There really wasn't much for this because, I mean, with Taco Tuesday, almost every single person who's watching this most likely has had Odell Paso before growing up. In fact, that's pretty much what we've always had. Although, I guess one thing I get, because growing up, I always was, again, I, if you can believe it, I really was rather picky. So picky, in fact, that, you know, the only thing I'd ever really have with, um, it, for a taco is a, a hard shell taco. And, and, you know, again, my mom would use the uh, old El Paso tacos. You know, I didn't even consider even liking using a sob shell because, I mean, why would you, I mean, because let's be honest, shell, soft shell tacos are essentially burritos that people are too lazy to roll up. That's pretty much what they are. So, and again, I was so picky, I didn't really like Mexican food all that much. I mean, again, if it was homemade, or in this case, semi-homemade, you know, unless it's homemade, or in this case, semi-homemade, then get out of my sight. That's honestly why I don't really like Taco Bell or any other fast food Mexican place because, my guys, homemade, homemade Mexican food is just better. It is. I mean, I have a... Although that reminds me, last night as we're watching TV after dinner, because I stayed with my folks a little bit, my mom made the, um accusation that like because some Mexican foods I legitimately won't eat and one of them is just refried beans because let's be honest refried beans looks like something that uh, ordinarily a smart person would never even want to eat anyway I'm just saying huh, funny enough we were watching War for the Planet of the Apes last night anyway uh so, <laughs> I just lost my train of thought for that. My mom actually made the accusation that, because here's the thing, she asked if there's anything like we could, like she could have done to make it better, and she's like, I couldn't make guacamole, and she's like, you don't like guacamole. I love guacamole. I make guacamole for parties. She literally forgot that. She literally forgot that I made guacamole. I made it for party. Heck, if I was invited to a party, you'd bet I'd make my guacamole. Yeah, 
I mean, you can never have, let's be honest, there, at a party, there is never such a thing as too much food. You know, there's just like, either you have too much food or don't even bother throwing a party at all. Seriously, I've seen, I've seen and heard of many a party being completely ruined because of not enough food. So, yeah. Hint, hint, by the way. Yeah. So, um, we're, we're talking, you know, we're talking about Mexican, we're talking about uh, tacos. So, eventually, you know, as I got older and I did start liking more stuff, I did give, like, soft shells another chance. And when I figured out how to roll a burrito, like, you know, I can do that, sort of. Sort of, I mean, I could never fully... Because here's the thing, my mother would get old El Paso taco shells. For frame of reference, they're like, maybe this big. Come on, you're not going to make a burrito out of that. Especially like a really stuffed, really full burrito. You can't really expect to do that with a taco, with a soft shell taco of this size. So, I'm like, mom... If I ever come over again and you're making tacos, just get like the large tortilla shells, please. You're, you'll be doing yourself a favor if you do. Because we'll actually be able to have burritos and like actually big tacos or something like that. So, um, yeah. Although, um, that does actually remind me of, uh, so, yeah, I guess we can talk about this. Yeah, and, uh, Oh, right, you're probably wondering why I have my taco. Well, for my taco, it was pretty simple. I mean, all my mom would do is just, like, cook up ground beef, put a little paso taco seasoning on it, and, like, that was it. Well, not completely. I mean, she would, you know, she would grate cheese. You know, she would, you know, chop up onions, lettuce, tomato stuff to put on your tacos. You know, because, you know, you have healthy vegetables and dairy. And, uh, well... At least healthy vegetables. I mean, some people are vegetarians and vegans, so you really couldn't have cheese. Or really the meat and the tacos for that matter, but that's neither here nor there. Um, and old El Paso taco sauce, you know, yeah, that that's pretty much what I had. But again, those tacos are so small, both hard and soft shell. I had like half a dozen of them and I wasn't even remotely full. I'm not even kidding. Like... Either get like bigger shells or make more of the stuff because, again, because here's the thing, my mom is under the impression that like tacos are healthy and yeah, maybe, but again, you have to make them homemade yourself. Like don't go to any of the fast food places. And even then tacos have some problems. For one thing, whether it's hard shell or soft shell, it's going to be messy. In fact, that's one of the main reasons why I always have a problem with soft shell because you couldn't really fold it to hold the mess in, you know? You couldn't really do that. So, yeah, I would definitely, I mean, again, I do like tacos. So, well, here's the thing, I like tacos. It's just, if you're giving me, like, making me choose between, like, a taco or, you know, a burger, yeah, I'm going to be choosing the burger. Because, well... Probably because America. Plus, more importantly, burgers are a lot more versatile than tacos. I mean, at least I've always thought so. I mean, you can literally put anything on. You can put a taco on a burger, probably, and it would make sense. Seriously. Like, you know what? I think I just came up with an idea. You can put a taco on a burger, but you can't put a burger in a taco. Think about it. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's the message, kid. that's the moral of the day, kids. You know, you can, you can put a bur you can put a taco inside a burger, but you can't put a burger inside a taco. That, that is today's lesson. <laughs> um, you know, I do have one more taco-related story. See, my aunt, who lives out in Colorado, who is also my godmother, she will tell you right away, she cannot cook with a dog. She cannot. Seriously, you could like teach her like everything step by step. You could tell her what to do. 
She really can't do it. She's openly admitted this herself. Like, if it's anything more than two ingredients, like, like, don't even bother. But she makes something, she actually has several really crazy recipe ideas, even though she says she can't cook. And one of them is Mexican Surprise. Sounds fun, doesn't it? Really, it's just another way of saying taco night. And again, it sounds horrible, but it's not as bad as you would think. Plus, unlike um, what my mom would do, she'll actually get like steak and like chop that up and cook cook it that way. So, yeah, that um, that works. Oh, and she'll actually make uh, rice too. So. I actually like Spanish rice. I really do. I really have enough of that stuff. Um, so, yeah. If you are, uh, I mean, again, it's very likely that if you're watching this, you may very well have had old El Paso, either knowingly or unknowingly. So, if you've had that, you're really not missing anything, because that's exactly what my mom has always made. Although... One thing that she would make make it with normally that she didn't do last night was uh, cornbread. Huh, I guess maybe that's why I really wasn't feeling so full. She didn't make any cornbread. Um, her cornbread recipe is, uh, well, yeah, you know what? I could probably talk. I mean, even though I didn't have cornbread last night, I could talk about that as well because, you know, taco, I mean, tacos and cornbread was something that we always had whenever my mom made tacos, so... Yeah, I could quickly get into the cornbread as well. Um, you know, the cornbread she'd make was like a recipe on like the back of one of those like cornmeal bags. That's really all it was. I mean, it was good. And again, you know, it did follow into the uh, you know, homemade, made by mother's hands sort of motif. So, of course, it qualifies as mom food. Although, one thing that... Uh, Oh, this is going to sound so unhealthy. Whenever we did have cornbread with tacos, some of the uh, taco juices and taco sauce would, like, fall onto the cornbread. And if you had already put, like, cold butter on the hot cornbread, oh, man, that was, that was something else. Although, to all the people in the South who are potentially watching this, no, she didn't have a cast iron... Oh, she has a cast iron skillet. She's just never known to use it for making cornbread. So, yeah. It wasn't like the traditional southern way to make cornbread. But, again, again, it's mom food. It's food I grew up with. You know, I'm not going to I'm not gonna question it. Plus, I mean, again, the, the important thing is it was good that, you know, I have wonderful memories like this. Technically, I made more memories last night with, you know, my mom and dad having tacos again, which, you know, was nice. Although earlier that day, my mom told me that she was going to have tacos. And I'm like, Mom, do you have any leftover prime rib from uh, from Sunday? Because you could use that in the tacos. She didn't, but, you know, it's something to think of for, la for next time. So, yeah. Provided that there actually is an opportunity to have prime rib again. Uh... So again, yeah, if you're, if you're a fan of, if you've ever had Old El Paso, whether knowingly or unknowingly, you know, you would like these tacos just fine. You would. It wouldn't really be, um, you know, it certainly wouldn't kill you to have them. It certainly wouldn't be the end of the world if you never had them. So, yeah, of course I, well, I say I rec it's, it's mom food. It's food I grew up with. Of course I'd recommend it. But, you know, it'd be something that you'd have to be willing to try yourself. Either you somehow locate and track down my mom and force her to make it, or, I don't know, you do something, I guess. Um, if you're a fan of tacos at all, well, even then, you would probably have had a little pasto anyway. So, again, you would expect more of the same, which, you know, may sound a little bit generic, but, hey, Generic isn't bad. So that's always a problem. Like, people have always under, have been always under the belief that generic is bad. No, it's not bad. Not at all. It's perfectly fine. It's just like, if, 
if the thing that's generic was like built up for you in terms of hype and it just turns out to be just generic, that can be a problem. But for the most part, generic is A-OK. -okay. And that's, in the best possible way, that's what I could describe my mom's tacos and cornbread. Generic. But in the very best possible way. And that's okay in my book. Like, favorite, share, and subscribe button, follow me, social media, follow me, on YouTube. I'm very humble. I made this video for all of you guys who watch and enjoy. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful hump day. And remember, if you want to talk or channel with me, you're the London, you know, always are back. Take care and make good choices. See ya.